Welcome to our timeline tutorial series for creating custom timeline tracks, clips and mixes. The timeline is a really powerful tool for creating cinematic content. For example, you might have a cutscene where you want to change the settings of a light object by time. So create a light control track, take the light object from the scene and put it into the track, create a new clip, change the settings of the clip, create another clip, change those settings and blend the clips together to get a smooth transition between the two settings. With the basic timeline tracks provided by Unity, you can create cool cutscenes already. But sooner or later, when your cutscenes get more and more complex, you'll need to extend the timeline with your own tracks and clips. Follow the link in the description and download Unity's default playables from the Asset Store. Of course, you can use them in your cutscenes, but also as a reference for your own timeline scripts. The timeline API may seem a little bit complex at first glance. So before we jump into an example, I want to give you a little overview of the components needed to create your own timeline playables. Okay, for example, we want to change the lights in our cutscenes. Therefore, we need to make the light component animatable in the timeline. The first step is to create a script which inherits from track asset. The track asset represents a track in the timeline. Now you need to tell the track asset that its binding type is the light component. You can specify that with the track binding type attribute. Now in Unity, you are able to drag and drop the light object into your track. Here is a little side note. It may seem like you're binding the light object directly to the track, but instead the light object is bound to the playable director which plays your timeline. This may sound a little bit confusing, but it has the benefit that you can reuse the timeline and play the same cutscene on different light objects. Our track isn't very useful without timeline clips. In order to do that, we need a clip script which inherits from playable asset. The script also needs to implement the iTimeline clip asset interface. This forces you to implement the clip caps, which specifies if your clips can be blended together, or if it supports time scaling or extrapolation, for example. Right now, our light control track doesn't know anything about the light control clip. To specify that the track can contain light control clips, we need to decorate it with the track clip type attribute. Now we are able to create light control clips in the timeline. So far, we only built up the structure for our timeline extension. The behavior of the clip is still missing. So yet it doesn't know how to manipulate the light object. Therefore, we need to create a behavior script which inherits from playable behavior. If your clips cannot be blended together, you can overwrite the process frame method directly in the behavior script. Within that method, you can manipulate the light object while the timeline is played. The behavior script only acts as a template for the clip script. So during preview mode in the editor or during runtime when the timeline is played, the clip generates playable objects based on that template. Those generated objects are then processed in the process frame method. Often you want the smooth transition between one clip to another. In other words, you want to blend multiple clips together. It's not enough to use the process frame method of the behavior script, since it only acts on single objects. For blending multiple clips together, Unity introduced the so-called mixers. Like with our behavior script, a mixer also inherits from playable behavior and therefore overrides the process frame method. Now instead of processing only a single clip within the process frame method, the data of multiple clips is taken, blended together and the resulting value is written to the light object. To generate mixer playables, when the timeline is played during runtime or in preview mode, you need to override the create track mixer method within your track script. Thanks for watching the little overview of Unity's timeline. In the next tutorial, I'll show you a simple example of how to create your own tracks and clips for the timeline.
If you liked it, please support us on Patreon. That would be really awesome. Otherwise, subscribe to the newsletter and YouTube channel. Yeah, and I wish you a nice day. It's your sensei.